It's time now for the best high school sports action from the WBCB Sports Network. Catch the best games from Bucks and Mercer County at WBCBSports.com and our Facebook page. Your home for high school sports is right here at WBCB 1490. A rainy homecoming Saturday here in Trenton as we get you set for kickoff from the high as they take on the one and six Eastern Vikings. Trenton Central coming in two and five on this cold and gray and rainy Saturday. Thanks to the sponsors making this live stream possible. Team Toyota, the New Jersey Education Association, and the Revere Restaurant, Holdeman Ford Subaru, the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, Capital Health, and Hyundai of Trenton, Capital Area YMCA, 12th Man Touchdown Club, the Trentonian, of course, and the Italian People's Bakery. Great to be with you. Keith Noonan alongside Trentonian writer Joe O'Gorman. And Joe, an interesting one. Both teams have kind of struggled, and you certainly have the weather that's going to play a factor in this one. Rain in the forecast for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah, it is. It's going to be a tough day for two teams that are trying to get themselves straightened out. You know, uh, Eastern, I think, won their first game, and now has lost six straight. Trenton's lost four straight, so, you know, unless we end up, every one of them days will have a tie, you know what I mean? <laughs> so... Unless one of these, unless there is a tie, one of these teams is going to get it started back on the right path anyway. Well, and, and let's start with Trenton here because Trenton has a transfer quarterback that's been in there the last few weeks, Jaden Ferrier, uh, 14 of 27, 175 yards, and the turnovers way down from Keyshawn Worthen, who is back to his usual spot at running back. And you know, Ferrier has stepped up and really displayed some talent at the quarterback position for the Tornadoes. And worth in a running back, he does a pretty good job. I think he's got 533 yards he does. rushing this year. So he's back in his right spot. So, you know, maybe all the, the pieces or planets are aligned properly for the Tornadoes here. And worth it also with eight touchdowns on the ground as yes. well. Um, so he has been awfully good. Uh, and let's let's talk a little bit about Eastern now. They, they won week zero, and then, as you mentioned, yeah. lost six straight. So they're really trying to find their footing. Yeah, I, I think that's just the thing that amazed me about that team, and I spoke to you earlier about it, is they got 14 freshmen on the roster, and, like, they got more freshmen than seniors. So this is a very young team, and it you know, must be in a rebuilding year. And I think they've won six in a row from Trenton. The last time Trenton won, I think you got to go back to 2015. So it's a team that Trenton's had trouble with over the years, ever since they started the West Jersey Football League. So I, I think that they're young, and, and they're trying to find their way. And uh, I think experience is going to be the key for them. If You know, what they can do today will be really surprising, I think. I don't think they, they're very young, and it's going to take a long time for them to develop. No question, and when you get to a team like that, as you just laid out, a ton of freshmen, they don't have the size quite yet to really match up, and Logan Dawson, the signal caller for Eastern, he's uh, 36 out of 64, so 64 attempts, not much. Not and seven games. No, no, one touchdown, three interceptions, yep. so these are two teams that are looking to keep it on the ground, and I would think, especially with the weather, it's going to be much of the same with the running game. Yeah, I think the weather's going to force the ground game, you know, for both teams, you know, because you start putting the ball in the air. I mean, we're on turf, so, you know, that's going to help the, the passing a little bit. Not going to get sloppy and muddy out there, but no. still, you know, you don't know if the rain keeps up and the wind, that has a big effect too. No question. And we, we talked about some of the freshmen and, and Terry Cook, wide receiver for Eastern. Eight catches for 76 yards, yet to have a touchdown, but it's an awfully good season for a team that's not throwing the ball for a freshman. Yeah, you know, especially in high school, you know, because when freshmen come in, they're they're usually undersized and you know, you don't think that they have the strength to play at the varsity level. But you know, we'll have to take a look and see what this kid Cook has. Trenton getting set to take the field on this homecoming afternoon. And Trenton, they've played a pretty tough schedule. Both, or the Eastern rather, is the only one in their division 
Joe, with a losing record. So they've played some good teams. Trenton has had to play Notre Dame and Hopewell Valley. They have only scored 89 points. They're going to really have to help their defense out by driving the ball down the field because hasn't been a ton of that so yeah. far. Yeah, Trenton come up, is coming off a 49 nothing loss to Hopewell Valley. And they've been outscored in this losing streak. They've been outscored 145 to 20. So you know they're just not putting points on the board. No, and and Eastern has only scored 78 points. Uh, as if you know Trenton wasn't bad enough, but they have been a little bit worse this season. So Eastern has got to find a way to to punch it into the end zone. Right. It's going to be one of these days. Any touchdowns a plus. Might be the only one. You never know. <laughs> well, we, well we, I did a game last night over in Bucks County, and we kind of said the same thing because one team had come in, um, and they had only given up one touchdown over the past uh, three games. And, you know, Conwell Egan had had trouble on offense as well, and they had their backup quarterback in. And me and Rob Gilmore sat there and said, hey, they score a touchdown. You got to feel yeah. pretty good, right? And, and exactly. in this game, in this game, you might have the same That's type right. of scenario. Somebody could have a career day here with you know the way the, with the weather and the, the, the way these two teams have struggled offensively. I mean, what what would you say? Just looking at everything in its totality, the the big thing that that Trenton is going to need to do offensively. I think. Ferrier is going to need to come out and take control of the quarterback position, number one. And number two, I think Worthen's probably the best back on the field today. And if he can get himself open a little bit, I think there's a chance Trenton can put some points on the board. Yeah, uh, Izzy Hernandez, the usual setback for Eastern, has been good. And it's going to be a big question of if he can match up well against this tornado defense that has struggled a bit as well. Yeah, Hernandez comes in with 175 yards and three TDs. And, you know, I mean, it, it's not a dominant appearance by a running back, but it appears that he's the best they have right now. And Jordan Messino also has 22 carries for 110 yards. And here come the tornadoes. High Should be an interesting one, Keith. You know, you, like I say, you have two teams that have to be hungry for a win. Exactly. And that's that's obviously the key is both teams, you know, really would like to get this one, even though the season pretty much lost. And Chris Franco is just trying to get this group to get a win and playing a, a team that only has one win. Right. You've got to feel good, especially being on the home turf. And the one thing we haven't talked about yet is turnovers. You know, that could play, with the weather, that could play a big part in this too. Uh, big time, I, I would think. And I already did one game this season where it rained the entire game and, and there was, I think, five fumbles in the game. Yeah, the, sometimes the, the rain just brings out the best in everybody. What can I say? <laughs> well, and I don't think that, you know, there's been many snow games in, in high school, but, you know, you, you've got to think that in some conditions, I know in snow when it's very slippery, the... Uh, advantage goes usually to the running back because he knows where they're going to go. We're gonna right. Take a. Uh, Thought they were going to do the national anthem, but um, yeah. it, it is interesting with weather like this who the advantage goes to. Yeah, I don't. I don't think either team has an advantage in weather like this. You know, because I mean, to some degree, the the rain and the field neutralizes some speed. You know, and then you want to try to throw, so the ball's slippery. It's hard sometimes to hold on to it for the quarterback, and sometimes hard for the receivers to catch it. So, well, how about the snap? Yeah, that's true, too. Let's see who wins the toss here as the teams and captains get together. The rain continues to come down. Looks nice on the on the camera, Joe. Yes, it does. Looks like, looks like it's perfectly fine. I know. Yeah. It is clear. Yeah. But it is coming down, and you see the 
Eastern fans on the far side, all the umbrellas. Yeah, the rain kind of comes and goes here. It gets a little heavier and then it's light. It was barely raining when I showed up today and then yes. it's been pretty constant. And Eastern wins the toss. They defer to the second half. And I, I asked Rob last night because they had two defensive teams you know, do you, do you like that teams automatically, it seems like these days, defer? Yeah, I think so. I think it's good because, you know, it, it gives your defense a chance to go out and set the tempo, number one. And number two, should you get a little bit behind, you got the ball to start the second half. So it's not like if you're down like 7 nothing, 14 nothing, you come out and it could be 21 nothing on you quick and you're looking at a whole different ball game. So I, I think most teams prefer to defer on the uh, coin toss now. Trenton and Eastern getting set to kick off. We'll have the national anthem, take a timeout, and come back with the kickoff after this. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Onerfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team, is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any maker model, Model. It's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. transition the amazing Naisha Saunders. We want to take a moment of silence to honor, respect, and salute her transitioning, but we want to stand in the gap and make sure we are behind one of our own, one of our babies, number 10, Shine Williams. We love you, son. We are with you. We are standing for you as you move through this. He is playing every day to honor his amazing mother. A moment of silence, please. Thank you so much. <coughs> Way to be, Tyler. Once again, great job on the anthem there, Tyler. You guys, make sure when you see him, you let him know. 
Welcome back to Trenton. Keith Noonan, Joe Gorman with you and getting set for the kickoff. Keith, we've got to mention that the improvements here at the Trenton High football field are amazing. A beautiful turf now. Lights are up. A scoreboard with a video board on it. And the video board showing the live game. How about that? Great job. Uh, it's like an NFL game. Hunter Davis going to kick it off. It is... Janelle Lintz back deep as well as Yvonne Minnie. And they do kick it deep. And it's caught at the 15. And Trenton with a nice return across the 30. And that was Lintz with the return. So first down. And it will be the quarterback, Jaden Ferrier. Nice return to the 34 to get him started. No question. Surprised they didn't have Stevenson hey, back there returning. Yeah. Returned one for a touchdown this year. First down at 10. Tornadoes. Will keep it on the ground. And running right up the gut is Lintz. Lintz picks up, up, picks up a couple. good four yards on first down. Yep. Going to work on that left side of that line. Second, Second down at six. Under the gun. Another handoff, Lintz trying to get to the edge and Lentz running. tough running. Was down. Tackle was made by Hernandez. Is he Hernandez making the stop? But it's another three more yards. Ball came out after he was down, so trying to keep possession here. And you can tell Hernandez was trying to jar that free. Yeah. Man, it was close. You know, third and a couple. Third down and two. Barrier under the gun, the general. And there's some movement. Got a yep. flag on the play. Going to be a false start. False it's a, a, a lot of times in, in previous off. years, Joe, the penalties have really been a problem for the Tornadoes. Yes, that's true, Keith. And, you know, and as soon as you see that, you know, that's not the way you want to start this game. <laughs> you know. It's going to be tough to score as it is. Yes, it is. Throw back to Tornadoes up five. They'll bring up third and seven. Third and seven. Again, Once again, Lintz, the, the setback. Two. That's a passing down, though. Looks like some blitz off the edge. Play fake. It's a little screen, and oh, it's yeah, almost it's picked no off there. by one of the linemen. Just on nothing the there. No, he kind of just put that right in the middle of the defense right there. Hunter Davis had a chance to catch it. And the punt unit comes on. Right, number seven, Joe Brennan. And it, it looked like they were trying to get it to Lintz, but... Yeah, they're trying to set up some kind of a screen, but right. it never developed. No, it didn't, and there was someone in the backfield almost immediately. Elmer Go uh, Godoy is in there to try to punt. Good snap and a good punt. Low to the middle of the field and it's caught. And running with the football is Terry Cook, the freshman. And a nice return across midfield. Didn't take long for us to see why Cook's playing. Made a nice return on that, that's for sure. See where exactly they spot it, but that was nicely done. Yes, it was. Also, Eastern got in there pretty quick on the punt, too. You have to watch that the rest of the game. They yep. almost blocked it. Got to be careful. They're right at the 45. 
Ready right for 45. Man, I'm, a, I'm surrounded by outstanding guys keeping me on point. I'm saying thank you. It's going to be a test now for the Trenton defense because, again, Trenton short field here for the Eastern, with the offense first and ten Eastern team. Logan Dawson fakes and gives to Hernandez, who makes a cut. And Hernandez, Hernandez rumbles the down run. inside the 30. Clear first down, number one, Hernandez. Looks like a no huddle for Eastern. Tackle made by Creighton Laws. Creighton Laws on the tackle. The Trenton. And it's the first 27. down. Balls at the 27. Inside Hernandez, the room to run. Hernandez again, running strong. Trent and he is down to the 15. Remember in the beginning we talked about somebody having a career day? <laughs> Maybe it's Hernandez. <laughs> Jahair Williams with the stop that time. And they are going right to the hurry up. Lob pass, end zone, and it's incomplete. Wanted Sean Fitzpatrick in the end zone. Looked like almost tried for the, the back shoulder, but it just yeah. kind of spun him around. So second down and 10. I often wonder, you're running the ball on the ground, and now you're going to go to the air all of a sudden. You know I mean? Don't you do something until it gets stopped? I think it was probably just more of the surprise element more than anything. Second and 10, run right up the middle. No gain on the play. Yeah, that was carried by Jaden Kersey. Jaden Kersey on the run, trend on the group tackle. No gain on the play. Brings up third and 10 for Eastern. Third down and 10. Nine minutes on the clock, moving along here. Eastern on the move. Dawson gets them set up. Dawson from the gun again. Man in motion, fake to him, and Inside, spinning away from a tackler is Terrence Howard, Howard on the run. who almost gets 10. It looks like he gets nine and a half for where they're spotting it right now, fourth down at inches, It'll it appears at inches the moment. Right inside, they're, they're moving the ball on the ground pretty well. Yeah, they are. A couple of gashing runs already. Dawson going under center. Hand off up the middle. Hernandez. And he's just tripped up short. Right at the one yard line. It'll be first down, first and goal. Well, you know what we usually see in this situation, Joe? Of late. But Dawson not trying it, handed off right up the middle, and it's a touchdown, Terrence Howard. As Eastern drove right down the field and scores a touchdown. I think that, that, yeah, that was Hernandez. My apologies. Yeah, Hernandez. Hurry up offense, I think, has Trenton a little out of sync right here defensively. And it's interesting to come out of the gate with that. Right, number 11 kicking here. Hunter Davis. Davis up and good. Quick touchdown for the visitors as Eastern takes a 7 to nothing edge. Kick is up and good. Seven, zero, Let's get fit together at the Capital Area YMCA, 359 Pennington Avenue in Trenton. The Capital Area YMCA offers fitness classes led by certified fitness instructors and classes are held throughout the week. Yoga classes, silver sneaker classes, spin and stretch classes as well. Uh, beginner step classes and extreme hip-hop classes. For more information, visit capitalymca.org. The Wellness Center for Individuals featuring state-of-the-art workout equipment is open Monday to Friday, 12.30 to 2 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And the Capital Area YMCA, 359 Pennington Avenue in Trenton, where good health begins. Car inventory in Mercer and Bucks County. You can check out all new Hyundai of Trenton. All new Hyundai models, pre-owned cars, all types of models. 
And Hyundai of Trenton has the inventory ready for delivery. 1655 North Olden Avenue in Ewing Township. Six plays all took them. Key to get in yep. touchdown. Trenton going to need to establish their offense. They went three and out on their opening possession. They're going to have to figure out what the problem is on the defensive line, too, stopping that uh, eastern run. Good boot. And Lintz will return it from the 12 and picks up a block but gets spun down by Aiden Travaglini at the 27. Hopefully they got a little better drive here than they had the first time. Right, well, I was going to say, I mean, after the defense gives up a sustained drive and right down the field, yep. the offense has got to look to stay on the field here. Mario Stewart lining up as the fullback. And it's Lintz as the tailback. They go on a counter play and it gets blown up in the backfield. Good tackle by Hunter Davis. He's been all over the place. He has. He almost beat the ball back there. <laughs> and they had five guys right there. Yeah, I think they lost two. They're on the back almost to the. The three, they're down to the 24. Yep. Farrier, still under center. And they go with another handoff, handoff and it goes backwards. This time it's Hernandez. Izzy Hernandez. Yeah. He's doing a little bit of everything. <laughs> he is an injured player for the Tornadoes. It is looks like it is the running back Lintz and Poppy is out there. 7 to nothing game and we'll take an injury timeout here on WBCB. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365. At 609-882-6365, come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. So Lintz is up and jogged back to the sideline, so a great sign there. And he has been the feature back so far. I've not seen Worthen. Well, they're going backwards here now, so they got to yep. find somebody to move it forward here. They've lost five yards in the last two plays. Third and 15 is not an ideal situation. That's Savon Mini now as the running back. Play action and a looping pass. It's tipped and intercepted to the 10 and inside the five yard line. Colby Newkirk has the interception. Things continue to get worse. For the tornadoes. Yeah, that was uh, that ball floated out there, and number 23 was right there to glam it. 
And now Tornado's looking at a potential 14-point deficit almost right out of the gate. Real quick. 6.07 here in the first quarter. Got and off. Logan Dawson only has to go four yards. Yep. Let me go ahead and give you the memo. It's going to be Hernandez to the right for six. <laughs> I want you to be shocked when that happens. Uh, freedom is the best, isn't he? Yes, he is. Now we're going to find out if he's right. Yep, giving us a prediction on the play, and it's Hernandez up the gut, trying to power forward, and the Trenton line holds up this time, Joe. Yeah, I think he got down to about the one, and they stopped him. That's a big dude. I tell you, just watching Hernandez, he looks like he should have more than 500 yards. Sure coming does. In. Yeah, that's what he looks like. Yeah, that's what he looks like. They get set up again from about the two. Hernandez this time Hernandez finds the end zone right up the middle. A second touchdown, and this one off of. The interception and only having to go four yards. And Dawson just says, Hernandez, you'll take it from here. And it's 13 to nothing. As the rain continues to come down, it is raining as hard as we've seen now. They got more points than plays. <laughs> right. <laughs> They've only run eight plays. I got 14 Kick points. Kick is up, and it sails through by Hunter Davis, who made an impact defensively as well. But the interception by Colby Newkirk set them up inside the five-yard line, and they punch it in for another seven. Mercer County 12th man TD Club. November 1st, you've got the unsung heroes coming up, and... They're proud to salute those players whose efforts often go unnoticed but are the backbone of a program. And check out the 12th Man at TD Club. Don't forget, if you miss any of today's action, well, Joe will have a recap of it in the Trentonian or Trentonian.com, only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week. It's the Trentonian. You should use that line that you just said. What's that? In, in the column. Oh, yes. More <laughs> they, points they than plays. More points than plays early <laughs> in the game. Well, Davis going to yeah. kick it off again. And it is awfully quiet right here yes. at Trenton. Has not been much to cheer about so far. And the rain's getting heavier. Well, Lintz is back in returning. He came off earlier with an injury, so that's good to see. Short kick to the 15. And Trenton on the return, and not much there. Nope. Once again, it's Newkirk making a impact play, a flag at the end of the play. Returning that was Minnie. Minnie was on the set, partly on the kick and the return. How about against Eastern? Colby Newkirk making another nice play. Uh, not Trenton. It's, it is against Trenton, and that will back them up even further. That might be half the distance. Wow. Back to the 11-yard line. And, and with an offense struggling, that's pretty much the last yes, place that you want to start. Yep. Having to go the length of the field. They're going to get forced to put the ball in the air here early. Yep, already down two scores. Got to make something happen. 525 left in the first. And another flag. Offsides, though. Yes. They jumped gives, right in there, so. Gives Trenton some breathing room. Gives him a first and five, so that helps out a little it bit. It does. You know, I mean. Jaden Ferrier will be under center again. Ferrier calling signals and will hand it off. And once again, in the backfield. 
Lentz has no place to go. Bottled up by a couple of guys and in the backfield was Caden Ruba to wrap them up. So they'll lose a yard on that play. Last three plays have been all negative yardage for Trenton. Not the way to snap a losing streak. It is not. Both teams coming in struggling. Trenton with two wins. Eastern with one, but Eastern is playing really well right now. Yes, they are. Second down and six. Lintz gets tripped up almost immediately by John Brennan. And it's third down and first and five, and they have yet to gain another yard. In the backfield, the tackle number Picked up one on that time, so. 425 Gets it back to third and five. Third and five. I haven't seen Wortham at all. I don't know if he's out there or not. Not sure. He was their usual setback and talked about him a little during pregame, but it's been Lintz who's back there. And it'll be a quarterback keeper, and it's going nowhere. Anthony Pryor rips down the quarterback, and it is fourth down and five, and first and five, and they gain nothing. That's two that. series in a row now. Trenton has totally been unable to move the ball at all. And with this wind and the rain, the punts, when you're punting from your own red zone, inside <laughs> your own 20. Well, the rain, <laughs> the rain is coming down sideways at this point, and if the rain is any indication, they will be punting with the rain and the wind. So maybe. Well, the, they're standing on the 45 Eastern players to return it. So we could be looking at another short field. And that kick almost blocked. Multiple guys getting in the backfield and still a pretty good punt, all things considered. Yeah, almost, you're right, almost got blocked. It's trickles out to the 42. Another short field for Dawson and this offense. It was Vincent Rodriguez Rosa who almost got a hand on it. <laughs> yeah, they're getting through that Trenton line. Both times on both punts, they came very close to getting it. Let's see if Trenton can adjust to this no huddle that uh, Eastern is running. Dawson flanked by Kersey and Hernandez, and Kersey with a carry, and he rushes forward to the 35-yard line. I don't think he has the strength or the uh, bulk. He's got the speed. But. Tackle made by Dixon. Eight yards, though. Another nice carry for Eastern, and the ball is stripped free. And is it in play? Will be the question. I think it went out of bounds. I think it did. Still be Eastern football. So Eastern gets a bit lucky there. Looked like Howard had the football. Yeah, 11. Going to be another first down, though. Oh, hey. Lights are coming on. I was about to run, too. I thought it was lightning. Everybody thought it was lightning right on the field. Rain continues to come down, and Izzy Hernandez continues to move the pile. How about those lights? Yeah, that's right. They are bright. Second down and six. Eastern on the move. Eastern driving again. Go into a long count. Now Howard or Dawson rather is changing the play. Dawson from the gun. And it's another handoff. Hernandez, room to run, and he's in for another touchdown. Off of that right side again. They cannot seem to figure it out. Three touchdowns 
for Izzy Hernandez. And we have not left the first quarter. And that was easy as well. That was. That was a four-play drive. <laughs> Davis to kick it again. Spotted. Plenty of distance. It's good. 21 zip. 140 left in the first quarter. Eastern up. Don't think anybody could have predicted that. No. Italian Peoples yep. Bakery, proud to support high school sports here on WBCB. Go to 63 Butler Street for the rolls, deli meats, and the pastries. 63 Butler Street, place to go for the best hoagies, finest dessert trays for any get-together. 63 Butler Street again in Chambersburg, the Italian Peoples Bakery since 1936. 58 yards on about six carries for Hernandez. That is unbelievable. Can we keep in this guy? Trenton's got to find a way to do something offensively, and the yeah, defense they, has been gashed. They have done gashed. nothing, Keith. You're right. Yeah. Right. With the way the defense is playing right now, yeah, they I just have not handled the run game well. No, we got to try to figure out what the story is with Wathen as to where he is. Right. Where's it? Right. I was going to leave an ad pop, but now it's here. Eastern, the kick. Trent back in the season. 140 at the time. So I got to see what they do at halftime. Davis boots it away into the lights. And the ball comes loose. It's a fumble. Eastern says they have it. They do come away with it. Vincent Rodriguez Rosa falls on the football. Eastern and Eastern, ball. another Eastern. short field. Whew. Second turnover by the Tornadoes. We talked about it, Joe, pregame. That you cannot afford to be losing the football on a day like today. No. Right and not with this team. It's just marching up and down the field. Yep. Right now, we're, they're down 21 nothing. Trenton has six yards of offense. Man in motion. They hand it to him, and Trenton makes a nice defensive play. Looked like it was Shane Williams. Maybe that play will give him a little bit of impetus here and get him going. Defensively. It's carried by Fitzpatrick and just have to wonder. I mean, the running game up the middle has worked so well. Why go away from it? Right. Trying to get their wide receivers involved in the run game and it didn't work. They lost seven yards. Yeah. <laughs> seven or eight yards there. Yep. Dawson again from the gun. Dawson looking to throw, pressure, it's a screen, flag on the play, and Trenton does a nice job to bottle that one up. Terry Cook made the catch and run. In that area of a hold? It is. Lintz on the coverage and the tackle. That's back-to-back -back good plays by the Tornadoes. Right. And Lintz got a round of block. The legal formation is the call. <laughs> so it wasn't a hold, but it was on the offense. Tornado's defense has to be a little tired already, you'd think. They've been yeah. on the field the entire right. quarter, it seems. Second and 23. Dawson from the gun. Dawson out of the shotgun. And... Pass. Throws, but oh, it's low and incomplete. The ball got away from him. Yep, wanted Brian That's Thiel good. over there on the far side of the field. Now it's third and long, and Trenton defense looking to get off the field. This will be a big stop for them if they can get out of here. After turning the ball over down, what, around the 27-yard line? Yeah. And you've got to think that if... Easter could pick up 
maybe 10 yards or so. They might even think about going for it with the yeah. way that the Tornadoes have played offensively. Uh, One play up the middle. Looked like Hernandez again, and he gets stopped quickly. And it was. But it's fourth down and kind of on that no man's land spot, but yep. lots of yards to get. 24 they need. And we'll find out what they do in quarter number two as the time expires in quarter number one. And it was a mess for the Tornadoes. A couple of turnovers and they trail Eastern 21 to nothing. And we will be back with a second quarter after this. Red October is back. And so is our new Toyota inventory with in-demand popular models arriving monthly, like the all new Grand Highlander and Sequoia or reliable classics like the RAV4 and Camry. And with no markups above MSRP in our teammate rewards program, you can see for yourself why our home team advantage is so important. Shop online at teamtoyota.net or visit one of our three locations in Langhorne, Glen Mills, or Princeton. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, Advanced Medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. For the second quarter, and looks like the punt team is on. Another whistle. Lintz is the deep man. And a timeout taken. And that's interesting. On the punt. Yeah. It is a chilly and rainy afternoon for homecoming. They yeah. couldn't even have the parade. The parade's the highlight coming down Greenwood Avenue. Yeah, you get, have you gotten caught behind it? Yes, I have. Same. Yes. <laughs> Would have been nicer to be, you know, a part of it, I'm sure, than be stuck behind it. I tried to weave my way through it, but <laughs> the uh, good men of the Trenton police just weren't letting that happen. No, I don't think so. Find an alternate route. Yes. 21 nothing as we begin the second quarter, which is hard to believe that I'm even saying that. Hunter Davis will punt. It is Lintz back deep once again. Support them, please. Eastern back to kick, Trenton back to receive. And a good punt. Landing inside the 20 and takes an Eastern hop before it settles down at the 10. Looks like you'll be first and 10 for your tornado right at the 10 yard line. Second quarter action, ladies and gentlemen, 11.49 is the time, 21 0 favor of Eastern. Trenton with the ball, looking to get it going here. Let's go, Tornadoes. So Trent's first down. Got, yep, Trent's yep. got to find a way to generate some offense here. They just, what'd you say, they have six yards? Yeah, about offense? that, yep. yeah. Farrier will get under center again. Another run play and goes no place once again to Lintz. Yeah, a couple yards, that's about it. Now he lost two yards. Excuse me, lost a couple. Was that the 10? <laughs> I thought, yeah, you're right, I, yeah. I, yeah, I thought the same thing as you, but it was spotted a bit differently. Second and 12. Second and 12 for your tornado, 11-16 at the time. Second quarter action. Again, homecoming here right at Bill Hart Memorial Stadium. Farrier under the gun. Farrier fakes. He's looking. He pumps, and he gets sacked. Yep. Sacked by John Brennan. 
John Brennan. Brings up third down and very long, all the way back to the nine. I think we've negated those six yards of offense. Uh, I think so. In these last two plays. We'll bring up and and an outstanding job by the Trenton defense to get off the field right. after they faced another short field. But this offense unable to block well enough to get the run game going and Pass game, there's a sack. Look at the general fire from under the gun, third and long. Eastern showing blitz and backing out. Farrier throws and it's too high. One of the fullback out of the backfield. Yeah. Mario Stewart. Mario Stewart, no good. It'll bring a fourth down. Fourth down and gonna have to punt again. And with the way that the punt unit has looked so far. Yep. It's almost been blocked a couple of times. This could be a safety or a touchdown for Eastern if they're not careful. It's Cook. Back deep and Fitzpatrick. Elmer looking to get the punt away, and he does. Fitzpatrick tracking it down, catches at the 36, and goes sideways, but now he's upfield, spins, and will be flung out of bounds. So another very short field for the offense of they, Eastern. Eastern has started in the Trenton high side of the field every drive. Every drive. Good special team stop by Trenton. Williams makes the stop. That was Williams on the stop. 25. The first and 10. For Eastern, balls on the 25 yard line. Trying to Nine figure out that new scoreboard. Down. Yeah. Hand off, right up the middle. And it is carried by Ruba. Gets his first. Maybe a second carry of the game. Run right up the middle, number 34. Ooh, Picks up five up. yards. Yeah. Picks up five on it, brings up second and five for Eastern. 9.33 is your time. Ruba got hit hard once again by Williams. Back-to-back -back tackles for him. The defense has started to play a lot better his last several series. Another handoff. Ruba feels for a block and gets taken down. Stop made by Again. Boone Givens for Trenton. Here. From the gun. Third and two. Yep. Dawson hands off. It's Howard this time, and not much there. Good defense there by the tornado. It's Looking like he's going to be short. Good tackle by Brandon Washington. Yep. Fourth down and one. Some new personnel coming in. Yeah, they are. What happened to Hernandez? <laughs> All he did was score three touchdowns. Right. Well, now he's back in the game. Oh, good. I was getting worried about it. Fourth and one. Hand off Howard this time. Inside as he powers through for the first down. It's about two yards. But that's all that was needed. Stop made by Minnie for Trenton. Down at the 14, two yards. On the run. Brings up first and 10 for Eastern. Again, First and 10 and approaching eight minutes, second quarter. Eastern trying to put another touchdown on the board. Rolling out, looking, throwing, on the run, catch is made at the five-yard line. Fitzpatrick, Sean Fitzpatrick, hold yep. that in? He did. Williams was in coverage, made the tackle. I think they're getting a lot of people in the box score here. 
Yep. First and goal. And it's a quarterback keeper for Dawson, and he runs left. And the Tornadoes crunch him down, but after he picks up a couple. Sincere Brown, first to greet him in the hole. Down to the three. All right. I'm going to go in and live here and say give the ball to Hernandez. <laughs> Fourth touchdown for him. Howard is the back behind, looking to throw. He loops one and walking in for the touchdown. His fourth, Izzy Hernandez. You've said his name before, Hernandez. Little bit of a play fake, looked left, and Hernandez was all alone in the corner. He has all the touchdown scores. Yes, he does. For Eastern, and it gives Logan Dawson a tossing touchdown. Didn't we talk about somebody having a career day? You did, yes. I, think I, uh, I did not I think, think that. Izzy Hernandez is there. <laughs> it's the second quarter. <laughs> Whistles on the play. Put a flag on the play. We'll see what it is. Flag on the play. Can you see, Joe? No, I can't. Because I can't. <laughs> Referee's still talking over there. Okay. Guess he's asking Eastern if they're going to take it. Offsides against Trenton. Offside against Tornado. Uh, some coaches here would go for two, but I don't think yeah. that's necessary. No. If you're going to need that Eastern extra point, we're in serious two. trouble today. Correct. And, we're going to be and the ball is fumbled on yep. the snap. Trenton falls on it. Trenton falls on it. And so, extra point, no good. See, that's how much we know they should have went for two. <laughs> 27 to nothing after the latest Izzy Hernandez touchdown. Things just going bad to worse yeah. for Trenton. They, they look like uh, it's raining out. Not a good weather day, and no. they have not looked up to the task. They will receive another kickoff. Trent and I has only run eight plays, and Five of them have gone backwards. Really, really struggling on offense. And I, I think you just, you know, you look at the score last week against a really good right. Hopewell Valley team that's fighting for the division right. against a undefeated Notre Dame squad next week. And you look at that score and you say, well, you know, they probably didn't have a great chance anyhow right. with Hopewell Valley. Uh, but the way this offense looks, I mean, this is a one-win team that they're playing in Eastern. Oh. And he slipped on the turf and the went turf. down. He did, and it was Jalen Pena who just lost the footing, and it's been raining steadily now for a while. Yeah, and it's starting to take a toll on the field. And for an offense that's struggling, the six-yard line is not where you want to start. Nope. Started the last time on their own 11. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be first and 10 for Trent, 659. It's time right at the seven-yard line. It's almost looking like they need a passport to get to the eastern side of the field. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It has seemed that way, certainly. Trenton down 27 zip. It'll be a general Farrier from under the gun, first and ten. Farrier hands off, and already defenders in the backfield as Lintz tries to work it right, but he can't. No, they've been stopped at every turn so far. Hopefully Chris Franco's got a great halftime speech ready. What would you say? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, you know, that's probably the toughest question I've been asked. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just got to say it. We got to play like it's nothing, nothing, you know? I mean, right. 
we just got to come out. We got to do something. But one of the things that we do, you know, Worthen has all these yards, and we haven't seen him yet. He must be injured or not available today. But they would have won two punch. Defense jumped. Yep. Brennan went across the line. Is that what he is? Freedom Green just told us that Wortham's hurt. Yep. It's on the sidelines, street clothes. And that's a big difference for the Tornadoes. No Real question. big difference. No question. Second and short. It's a pitch, and in the backfield is Hernandez to rip down Lintz. Mm. Lost about eight or nine yards on that play. Wow. You're always back to, it looks like maybe the six. That'll be 550 at the time, ladies and gentlemen. It's past the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, he's back to the, what, the six? Six yard line. Yep. Lost five yards on the play. Everything you got on the penalty, you gave this, back. This is as dominant a performance from one player that I've seen in a long oh, time. Yes. I was just thinking when he made that tackle, all he needs to complete the day is a safety. <laughs> right. Or an interception. Third and 11. Farrier just yeah. trying to get some breathing room at this point. Out of the shotgun set. He's back, looking, Barry lobbing, incomplete. Incomplete, David, looking to connect with number 28. Overthrown, trying to fire it to Cason Brooks. We said earlier, Keith, it's going to be tough to throw today in this weather. And it's lightened up a little bit now, but still the ball's got to be slippery. Well, it just wasn't quite open either. No. Elmer will again try to punt it from his own end zone. And again, got to be careful. Yep. And why not if you're Eastern, try to sell out and block the punt. It's a high punt, and... Don't think uh -oh. it was touched, but it was a it very short punt. Got a way short kick. Looks like he'll be right at Four yard punt. 11. Ended up at the 10. Mm -hmm. He had a rush to get it out of there. Once again, Trenton <coughs> missed some assignments. Two guys came off the edge. Yeah. Rodriguez Rosa, who's had a nice game, recovered a fumble earlier, almost got a hand on it a second time. Yep, going to start on the 11. That they will. 4.57 to play in the opening half. Nice tackle in there. Yep, not much there. Hunter Davis carried the ball. One yard. Yep, that's it. Picked up one. They've slowed down their huddle or no huddle offense. It was, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's, it's necessary at this point. No, I don't think so. I think you want to burn time yeah. off the clock now. Right, exactly. Back to throw. Looking to the corner of the end zone, diving. Does he hang on? He does. Touchdown, Sean Fitzpatrick. A diving catch in the end zone. And we got a flag after the play. What a catch. That was a great catch. Good throw by Dawson just to loop it. Diving catch for Fitzpatrick. Yep. Check the flag. Touchdown, and there's a penalty on the play. Unsportsmanlike Sportsmanlike. after the play. After the play touchdown so the touchdown good. stands. Uh, this is pretty unbelievable, Joe. Yes, it is. I guess the Hernandez era is over. 
found somebody else now to score? <laughs> I guess. That would have been incredible five touchdowns in one half. Not even in the game. Yep. And personnel changing, it looks like. Last time they couldn't handle the snap on the point after. So a timeout taken. It's 33 to nothing. Once again, the concession stand is open. Stop on over. Get fit together at the Capital Area YMCA, 359 Pennington Avenue in Trenton. Capital Area YMCA offers fitness classes led by certified fitness instructors. And classes are held throughout the week. Yoga classes, silver sneaker classes, spin and stretch classes, all types of classes at the Capital Area YMCA. Check out their website, capitalymca.org. The Wellness Center for Individuals featuring state-of-the-art workout equipment is open Monday through Friday 1230 to 2 and Monday through Thursday 5 to 8 p.m. Capital Area YMCA 359 Pennington Avenue in Trenton where good health begins. Check out the Mercer County 12th Man TD Club their next event November 1st Unsung Heroes as they're going to go for two and the play is whistled dead before the play. I'm trying to get back that mixed, missed extra point. Right, and I also think, you know, being late in the second quarter, yes, you've got to go for that 35-point marker, I would think. It's the magic number. Yep. The magic number. Because you don't know what the second half is going to bring. Exactly. So you, gotta, you have to protect your lead. And went against the offense, I believe, the penalty. So now Dawson, a little more room as he rolls out. He looks, he floats it to the end zone, and it's incomplete. Wanted Dom Passarella. And so Trenton holds up. 4-16 is our time, ladies and gentlemen. 33-0 game. But Trenton's inability to move the football, I mean, you could make a case that there'll be another chance for Logan Dawson oh, yeah. and this offense to well, score again before the half. Like we said earlier, you know, they're still in negative yardage. They haven't really done anything positively on offense yet. It's tough to throw the ball. That's how you, it just puts more pressure on Farrier, and it allows that Eastern defense to just tee off. And it's pretty clear that, you know, Trent is going to be running the football, and without Worthen, Lentz has had a nice season, but not quite the same runner, right. and it's not been well blocked most of these plays. No, it's very obvious they're missing more than really bad because he's their offense for the most part. And then Sportsman like brings them back to kick it at their own 25 for Eastern. To be fair to Ferrier, the quarterback, he's relatively new to the program, so right. he's still learning things. So, uh, and Trent will be back to the scene. Kick is away. Kick is deep and Lintz. Won't get it. It'll be Mini to return it. And he'll get brought down. So Trenton will start on offense again. Right around the 30. The 35? Yeah. This is the best field position Trenton had, has had the entire game right now. Yep, you're right at the 35. And how about the other team in, in Eastern? Their best field position was what, the four-yard <laughs> line? Yep. They've been making a living in Trenton's backyard. They have. General 
Barrier hands off. No, he fakes and keeps. And in the backfield was Brennan. And they'll lose four yards. I mean, Trenton is in the negative offensively, correct? Oh, yes, yeah. totally. Three forty to play, second quarter. Now it's a matter of just getting to halftime and try and regroup. Right. Farrier out of the shotgun now. Looking to throw. Steps up, throws, but he got hit while he threw, and it was incomplete. Got hit by Travaglini. And just couldn't quite get the pass off. And Travaglini on that play was double teamed and got around one and got around yeah. a second and got to the quarterback. I know you know. Third and long. Eastern defense has come to play today. They have. Shotgun again. Stepping up and starting to run is Ferrier and brought down as he gains about a yard. Fourth down. Another punt. Fourth and 13 now. Negative 14 for Trenton High this quarter. Hard to believe. They got stung early and they just haven't been able to bounce back. Right. A couple of turnovers in the mix as yep, well. Exactly. Punt is away and it's low and takes a good Trenton hop across midfield and right at the 43 yard line. 217 at the I believe they got two timeouts as well. Yep. You know, over the years, Keith Eastern's had a lot of nice athletes come out of that school, you know? I mean, yeah. you know, Eli Apple with the Bengals, right. he's from Eastern. Uh, I remember Chris Candy was a big yes. defensive player. He's from Eastern. Um, and then the Logan Ryan. Um, yeah. Went to Rutgers and played with the Patriots for a few years. I think he's with the Titans now. Yeah, all those guys played for the yeah. Giants, too. Yep. Then Adam Talaferro, remember the kid from Penn State who mm -hmm. was paralyzed, but then he you know, was able to rehab and came back, and he was in politics for a while. And, of course, uh, like you, a TV magnet, uh, Kelly Ripa, an Eastern girl. Wow. So I guess there was a penalty there on Eastern, and it grants a first down to Trenton. Wow. So a chance to get off. Now their best field position, really. Right. Looking to air it out deep down the field and tipped and incomplete. Good coverage by Rodriguez Rosa. So the ball was thrown up. Must have been a roughing the kicker penalty. Right. Sabrine Melvin was the wide receiver target. Let's make a mental note. We'll be announcing our homecoming court at Friday's game. So pay attention to that. We still will make sure the students are honored and celebrated. Second and ten for Trenton. And that, that's what I think that Trenton ought to do is just try to see if you can get the passing game going. Yeah. And instead they run it yep. right into the line of scrimmage and no place to go for Lentz. Just going to have to talk a little louder, Keith. They're not hearing you. <laughs> well, teams don't typically take my advice. Uh, 
Loss of a yard on that play. And we're now down to third and 11. Yeah, Trenton is trying to get something positive yeah, anything on offense. Pot, before the halftime here, 132. Farrier, lots of guys in the box, right on the line of scrimmage. Farrier looks to throw and he gets crushed. Boy, they got there quick. Travaglini with another sack. Ruba also was there, it's a late flag. And it's against Trenton, they'll decline. So fourth down and 12. Minute and 10 left in the half. Brings up fourth down and long for your tornado. They'll be going to punt for it again, you think? Eastern will be back to receive. Yep. I think. Punt unit. It's been very busy. Timeout. Timeout with 50 seconds. And what a, really a mess from the beginning. Joe. Yeah, it was. I mean, yep. A couple of turnovers and, and right down the field went Eastern to score a touchdown. And how about the game Izzy Hernandez is having? Trent came out, had two positive plays. Uh, Lynch ran for eight yards. Then it was an incomplete pass, and then they got a false start. And it's been all downhill from there. It really has. Two turnovers haven't helped. Nope. I was going to say you mix in those yep. and you've got a lopsided game and that's what we have. Due to the rush, a four-yard punt. It's been tough for the Tornadoes. And they just, defensively they've struggled, but they've played better in, in this quarter. Yes, they have. And the field position battle has not been their way. And, and I, I understand it's grasping at straws, but has to give them some hope for the second half. They can come out and get something generated. Feels like the defense is going to have to score. And just waiting to punt and finally get it away. You can tell Eastern didn't want any type of penalty on that one. No, so they, they kind of stopped to block in the it. End. Yep. Just wanted to make sure he didn't run. First and 10 with 35 seconds. And we'll see if they just fall on the football yeah, and take it to the half. Kind of just take a knee and get out of here and try to dry. Get dry in the locker room. Because the rain has become steady. It has been brutal. Dawson, not in a formation like they're going to just give it up, and they don't. Inside run there. Up the middle to the 40. Looked like Howard. Yeah. 15 seconds left. That looks like it might be all. Well, maybe they'll run one last play. Five seconds. And a flag. Against the offense and that will bring us up front. Yep, that'll bring us to the half. Time expires. Time expires after a half. lopsided half here at Trenton. Yes, it was. 33 to nothing, Eastern High School with the lead over Trenton Central. And we'll be back to talk about it in a few moments here on WBCB. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, 
or performing in the school play or being on the debate team is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, Model, it's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609 609- 882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Red October is back, and so is our new Toyota inventory, with in-demand popular models arriving monthly, like the all-new Grand Highlander and Sequoia, or reliable classics like the RAV4 and Camry. And with no markups above MSRP in our teammate rewards program, you can see for yourself why our home team advantage is so important. Shop online at teamtoyota.net or visit one of our three locations in Langhorne, Glen Mills, or Princeton. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. 1490 WBCB Levitan and Trenton, and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer counties. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team, is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. 
It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any maker model, Model, it's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609 609- 882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Red October is back, and so is our new Toyota inventory, with in-demand popular models arriving monthly, like the all-new Grand Highlander and Sequoia, or reliable classics like the RAV4 and Camry. And with no markups above MSRP in our teammate rewards program, you can see for yourself why our home team advantage is so important. Shop online at teamtoyota.net or visit one of our three locations in Langhorne, Glen Mills, or Princeton. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer counties. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. 
This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, Model. It's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Hi, Merrill Reese Remind you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609-882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine, the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Red October is back, and so is our new Toyota inventory, with in-demand popular models arriving monthly like the all-new Grand Highlander and Sequoia, or reliable classics like the RAV4 and Camry. And with no markups above MSRP in our teammate rewards program, you can see for yourself why our home team advantage is so important. Shop online at teamtoyota.net or visit one of our three locations in Langhorne, Glen Mills, or Princeton. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, Advanced Medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. 1490 WBCB Levitan and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer counties. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team, is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, 
model. It's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365. At 609-882-6365, come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Red October is back, and so is our new Toyota inventory, with in-demand popular models arriving monthly like the all-new Grand Highlander and Sequoia, or reliable classics like the RAV4 and Camry. And with no markups above MSRP in our teammate rewards program, you can see for yourself why our home team advantage is so important. Shop online at teamtoyota.net or visit one of our three locations in Langhorne, Glen Mills, or Princeton. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, Advanced Medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. 1490 WBCB Levitan and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team, is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any maker model, Model, it's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like 
Stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609-882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine, the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Red October is back, and so is our new Toyota inventory, with in-demand popular models arriving monthly, like the all-new Grand Highlander and Sequoia or reliable classics like the RAV4 and Camry. And with no markups above MSRP in our Teammate Rewards Program, you can see for yourself why our home team advantage is so important. Shop online at teamtoyota.net or visit one of our three locations in Langhorne, Glen Mills, or Princeton. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer counties. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, Model, it's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Hi, Merrill Reese remind you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609-882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine.
The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Red October is back, and so is our new Toyota inventory, with in-demand popular models arriving monthly, like the all-new Grand Highlander and Sequoia, or reliable classics like the RAV4 and Camry. And with no markups above MSRP in our teammate rewards program, you can see for yourself why our home team advantage is so important. Shop online at teamtoyota.net or visit one of our three locations in Langhorn, Glen Mills, or Princeton. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. 1490 WBCB Levitan and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer counties. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team, is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, Model, it's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Well, we're still here. Yes, we are, Keith. We are here. And so are the teams. It's 33 to nothing Eastern. And the rain has slowed down, but has not stopped. And well, hopefully the uh, Trenton offense has speeded up. <laughs> yeah, because whatever. they had a very tough first half. Negative 15 yards, Keith. I think that's the main story. Uh, even though the defense had some trouble getting off the field, yep. um, they were not helped out by field position, and they were not helped out by the offense whatsoever. So that needs to change. No, the defense played a little better in the second half, but they, you know, the first quarter, Eastern just had field position inside the 21s, and then at the 30 another time, and they just took advantage of it. And, uh, Izzy Hernandez ran for 60 yards and two touchdowns on the ground. He got one through the air. And then Logan Dawson threw two touchdown passes in the second quarter. So, uh, you know, the only, only mistake uh, that uh, Eastern made was they, they missed an extra point, and, and they missed the... Uh, two-point conversion one time if you could say that certainly it, the one was a mistake and right you know they just didn't quite hook up on a pass in the corner of the end zone and 
that's really the only blemish, if you will, against and them, and they're getting the football out of the break. Right, and, you know, in Trenton's defense, we have to say that, you know, I mean, they're leading running back, uh, you know, Keyshawn Worthen. Uh, Keyshawn Worthen is not here. He's injured, and that certainly is uh, shows you this score and the offense shows you how much they depend on him. Cook is back deep along with Fitzpatrick. And Fitzpatrick will take it from the 15. He fumbles it, picks it up, dashes forward, and gets across the 25. So let's see if the defense can come out and get a stop here right out of the locker room. Well, I think certainly the Tornadoes should be hunting the football at this point, just trying to put anything they can together. Yeah, on the 27. Just handed a note here by a fan. He said, Freedom, run that clock. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fitzpatrick having a reverse fields and trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but can't. Just tough conditions, you know, with this rain and, uh, you know, it seems to be getting a little chillier every hour that goes by. Player injured for Trenton and Poppy Sanderson will hustle out there. You thought he retired. I did. I thought Poppy retired, but he just, he, I don't, I don't, I think they'd have to blast him out of here. <laughs> He is not going to retire. I no, he can't. I don't think so. He's the best, though. I'll tell you that. He is. There's nobody the, around like Poppy. No, one of the great people of yep. all time, really. Yep. Yes, he is. Injured player on the field, and we'll take an injury timeout. Be back after this. Red October is back, and so is our new Toyota inventory. With in-demand popular models arriving monthly, like the all-new Grand Highlander, and Sequoia, or reliable classics like the RAV4 and Camry. And with no markups above MSRP in our teammate rewards program, you can see for yourself why our home team advantage is so important. Shop online at teamtoyota.net or visit one of our three locations in Langhorne, Glen Mills, or Princeton. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, Advanced Medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. Back here at Trenton, the injured player for the Tornadoes coming off. It is Shane Williams, defensive lineman. Hopefully he's okay, Keith. Yep, looked like kind of holding that arm area. Hernandez makes a cut upfield and tumbles forward back to the close to the original line of scrimmage. So a pickup of a couple there, and it's third down and long. Trying to defense once again, looking pretty good. Yeah, they played well, mostly through the second quarter. It was bad field position that got them in trouble. Back to throw. Dawson being chased and floats it, and the catch is made. And running upfield is Brian Thiel for a first down and some more. Across the 40-yard line of the 42. Well, they're not going to let up, that's for sure. That was a nice play by the quarterback. Ball's picked up and placed around the 42-yard line. 10-09 is the time, third quarter action. 
Dawson sets them up again, running play up the middle, and it's covered up by the Tornadoes. Like we said, the defense has really stepped up. Rector with the stop. Loss of two. Loss of two on now. Good defense there by your tornadoes hanging in. 9.40 is the time, ladies and gentlemen. Third quarter action. Concession stand remains open. And again, we have a number of vendors. Second and long. Please stop holding support them. Tornadoes Dawson will blitz the off the edge. Run. And Hernandez spins out of a tackle, but then gets wrestled down. Back behind the line of scrimmage. I guess the conditions have really worsened out there because nothing, not a whole lot of positive yards by anybody. Eddie Hill with a nice tackle defensively. And a timeout. Timeout call. Taken by Eastern and up 33 to nothing. And a timeout yeah. early in the third quarter. That's curious. Yep. But the offense has not looked quite the same. No, it hasn't. Not since the early part of the game. And what is to be discussed is the big question. Yes. <laughs> what do you say? Okay. Well, now the wind has shifted and the rain is coming directly directly at the window directly, here. Directly uh, at me. Yes. And the camera. Yes. I can see a gaggle of people. That's about the best <laughs> I got right to go out there. Dawson rolling out, looking to throw, and he throws it away. Tornadoes had that play covered up and fourth down. I'm sure it wasn't not the drive that Eastern was looking at coming out of the locker room for them. I'm, sh I'm sure that's not the case. Hold it down. In plenty of conditions. We appreciate you. B. Davis to punt. Almost gets blocked. Lands at the 39. Then it'll be spotted at the 36 yard line. First down, Trenton. Well, now's a good time for Trenton to get started here, Keith. I would think, I would think now, now's the moment. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to get these papers up off this counter. Yeah, if you're, you're going to leave a lot of ink, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank goodness for Sharpies. I know. Otherwise, I would not be able to read anything that I just wrote. Running play and greeted in the backfield is Lintz. No chance on that play. It was blown up by Ruba. No, they've been in the backfield most of the day every time Trenton has a possession. It's really been... Two more yards lost. Yep, it's really been an incredible performance by this Eastern defense. I mean, you look at the way they've played, it's shocking that they've only won one game. Yes, I know en route to their second win of the season, but they have played like a team that is coming into its own. We talked about how young they are. They're playing like a 6-1 and one team, not they a 1-6 team. Play fake, screen. It's Lintz out of the backfield trying to catch and run, but Hernandez ush ushers him out of bounds. Got a couple back, but they still have a flag late. Ah, that's usually a late hit or something. I'm not sure. I didn't see too much there. Maybe somebody said something on the sideline. Could be. They figured it out yet. 
unsportsmanlike on the offense. That's not good. No. That is not good. I see that smiling Abe Johnson is down there. Always like when he's officiating our games. So now you put yourself in the second and 27. Back at the 18. Ferrier hands off out of the gun and no place to run. This time it's Minnie. You know, when you're not being able to move the ball, you just can't get those bad penalties. They're, they're just dragging you down even further. Especially in a game like this one where yep. field position has been key. And oh. It has been in the wrong direction for Trenton yep. all game. Trenton has not yet been on the eastern side of the field. Right. 502 is the time. Another punt coming up for Trenton. Terry Cook, the freshman, is the deep man. If they can get it to him. Low snap. Kick is away. It's right to Cook. He's got it at midfield. Puts on a move and puts on a second one. Look at the juke. And Cook, the freshman, inside the 20, down to the 10. Touchdown. Wow. What a return from the freshman, Terry Cook. Takes it about 47 yards in for the score. That was a great job. He was going to go down the middle, and he made a little move to the, the right. He went right down the sidelines, got a good block. Right in there. What a performance. Offense, defense, and special teams. All putting it together for Eastern. Yes. And now we've passed that magic number, Keith. That we just have. puts more onus on Trenton. Yep. Clock will be running. Kick is up. It's up and good. The extra point by Hunter Davis. Now this game continues to get ugly. It's... 40 to nothing. That was about, what, a 45-yard punt return, right? He picked it up right here on this yeah, side it was about of the field. 40, 55. 40, 45 or 47, something of that yeah. nature. Mercer County 12th man touchdown club November 1st. The unsung heroes. Proud to salute those players whose effort often go unnoticed go to the backbone of the program. And it'll be two players per school. If you miss any of today's game, well, <laughs> it, <laughs> it wasn't really a great one if you're a Trenton fan, but you can read about it. Of course you've got to read about it in the Trentonian or Trentonian.com, only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week. It is the Trentonian and the Italian People's Bakery, 63 Butler Street. And go there for the finest rolls, deli meats, and the pastries. 63 Butler Street, place to go for the best hoagies, finest dessert trays for any get-together at the Italian People's Bakery since 1936. Boy, this has been a tough, tough day for Trenton. Uh, this has been I, <coughs> as tough of a performance. I, I, I think Trenton has put together maybe their D minus game, and Eastern has put together an A plus game. Yeah, I mean, and that, I, that's been the difference. I don't know if the uh, other six games Eastern's played were against the Eagles, <laughs> because <laughs> I mean, obviously, this team is not a one. In, one in 16. Well, I, I had pointed out in the pregame, you know, they are the only team in their division with a losing record, and they've played a lot of division games, and maybe those teams are just far and away better, have more talent. Yeah, you know, I, I, South Jersey football has always been fairly good. You know, there's always a lot of good teams down that area. So it's quite possible that their schedule is very tough. I mean, nobody's really blown them out to the, you know, extent like, a, you know, you would think, a, you know, a 40 to nothing job or something like that. They've, 
They've played it a little close, but Jahair Williams returns it. And pretty nice return on a short kick out to the 37. Just about out of the third quarter here. Forty-five seconds left in the third. Farrier turns, hands it off, and again, short gain, modest gain of about three yards for Lince. Twenty-five seconds remaining. It could be the last play. of the third quarter. Only 12 seconds. And that will be the end of the third quarter. Another touchdown for Eastern. It was a punt return for the score and it is now 40 to nothing Eastern. And we'll come back with the fourth quarter after this. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or home made pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365. At 609-882-6365, come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports. And On to the fourth quarter. Eastern 40, Trenton Central. One first down. As they try to run it to the outside and nothing doing. Good stop by Zach Wood. Zach and the carry was given to number zero, who we don't have on the roster at least. We apologize. They might for be that. recruiting people right as the game going on. <laughs> right. <laughs> Some extra uniforms <laughs> yeah. to give out. Third and long. Oh, no, third and one. Third and 13. Fake the give and then hand off to Lintz. Runs into the pile. Fourth down. Another punt. Just nothing on offense today for Trenton. Nope. Nothing. Not even, you know, we said they're one first down. That came on a penalty. It's really been frustrating for him. <coughs> it has just been one of those performances that you probably don't even show the tape the next day. Yeah, you just forget about this right. one. You take down a rear view mirror. This one don't even did it never happened. Max Cutler is back deep. And punt will bounce and roll to the 30. Cutler didn't have a chance at it. Cutler just a sophomore, and Joe mentioned how young this Eastern team is. And just watching them today, Joe, they've got a bright future if these kids continue to develop. Yeah, they do. I mean, most of their... Key players are juniors, and uh, like I said, I think they only have 10 seniors and 14 freshmen on the roster. And we saw what one of them can do with Terry Cook. Return that uh, punt 47 yards for a touchdown. Right. Yeah, he was, you could see how electric he is. Yes. 
Unfortunately, they've not got him in the passing game, but. Homecoming. Again, next Friday at our game, we will announce the uh, course, the homecoming score. And we're thankful for This is the first time that they've been in on the other side of the, uh, in their own side of the field. Nick Carreri comes in at quarterback and fumbled the football right. and picked it up with his knee still on the ground. So loss of a few yards. All the backups in now for Eastern. And that's good. In games like this, you got to give the other kids a chance to play. You know, you like to see that. Nick Carreri just a sophomore. High snap looks to keep it. He's a runner. And look at that. First down for Carreri. All the way to the 40-yard line. And the Eastern bench goes wild. Hey, I love to see those guys come off the bench and get that. Like we said, they work hard all week in practice, too. Right. It's like when the 12th man on the bench in basketball comes in and starts launching up threes That's from right. half court. <laughs> yeah. A handoff this time, and Trenton snuffs it out. Handoff goes to Cutler. Yeah, good job by Trenton on that one. Second down and about 12. But not much to take out of this for the Tornadoes. No. I think they take on what Ewing next yeah, week. Yeah, Ewing in their final regular season game. Deep ball and it's caught down the sideline. Catch made by Vincent Rodriguez Rosa and the quarterback, Carreri, put it on him. With them taking their time right now, and we're down to seven minutes. Trenton may not see the ball again. Well, you never know. Tornado player coming off a little limp. Sincere Brown comes off the field and another run for Cutler who cuts up field and picks up four yards. Injured Tornado. Been a tough day injury wise too for Trenton. A couple of players down and Poppy back yep. out there. <laughs> and we will have another injury timeout. 40 to nothing here at Trenton. 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's Capital Medical Group. Welcome back to Trenton. Second down and seven. Cutler with another carry. He dances and turns up field to the 29-yard line. Stop made by Tyree Fletcher. Is about five yards short on that one now. I'm sorry? About five yards short they are for a first down. No, they need uh, two. Two. Third and two. I know that Joe is trying to look through the window. He doesn't have the capability to look outside. Cutler has the first down and some more. 
Once again, Fletcher there for the tackle. But it's good enough to move the sticks. And the clock just keeps winding down here on Trenton. And I think that's a good thing for them at this point. Yeah, I think you're right. Just yep. get off this field and forget about yep. this. Yeah. Regroup. No question. First down. Fumble on the exchange, and Trenton has their first turnover. Recovered by Mario Vandervoort, the junior defensive lineman. He fell on the football. So far, that's the highlight for Trenton right there. Five, ten is the time. It's a shame they haven't just be able to get nothing going at all today. No, and, and once again the defense doing something positive, and the offense just not able to pick up really any first downs or move the football at all. Yep. From the, the, you know the, from the second quarter on, the defense did not play bad. You know, bad field position cost them the two touchdowns in the second quarter. And a couple of turnovers this as one well. Was a, this one was a special teams. Yep. Tornadoes is trying to get the right personnel on the field. Clock keeps running down while they're trying to get things yep. squared away here. And a fumble on the exchange, but keeper, I believe Ferrier is still out there at quarterback. Nope. It is number 13 now. Javion Parker, the junior quarterback, is in there now. Everybody stay safe, stay warm. Second down and nine. Yes, sir. Three and a half to play on this homecoming game for the Tornadoes that they'll like to forget. Another fumble and picking it up and running is Parker and no gain. Homecoming was washed out, unfortunately, for the Tornadoes. And, you know, and so was the game. Yeah, it was. It was a complete washout for them. Mason Lagenbach with a tackle that time. Offensively, they just haven't been able to put, even not just today, but all season they've kind of struggled yep. offensively. And, uh, missing their yeah. best running back as well didn't help. But no, not at all. It shouldn't stop the entire offense. No, it just that goes to the lack of depth, obviously, on yep. the offense. Third and nine. Can they try to pick one up here? Low snap, and it's picked up and running with it. But it'll be short. Is Jamie Green. Fourth down and four. What do you think? Go for it here, Joe. Uh, you, I, you have, why not? What do you why got not? to lose? Why not? I what agree. do you have to lose? Two minutes left in the in the game. Yeah, there's no no reason not to. Eastern hasn't out shown that they want to you know run it up on you. No. They've got all their subs in there, so go for it. Well, I think you'll see a couple of knees. If yeah, they get right. the football back. Right, so exactly. No reason to run any more plays. No. Under two minutes. Under two minutes here. All kinds of jumping at the line of scrimmage. It's against the defense. The Croachman. The view I have, Keith, is like the one you used to have on your TV when you had the rabbit ears. <laughs> and, you, and you used to have to turn the dial. <laughs> Lentz making some men miss and gets around the edge. And he has positive yardage. That play could have been a five-yard loss. Instead, he turns it into an eight-yard pickup. 
That's a great job right there by Lintz, who's really been the workhorse. You know, if there's a player of the game for Trenton, it's Lintz, because yep. he's, he's just tried to do everything he could. Right. The offensive line has not held yep. up well for him trying to run the football. And for the first time today, they're in Eastern Territory. Almost. They're at the 49. Ah. See, that's got to get a couple of yards. That's a UHF view I got. Exactly. <laughs> and can they... I guess they have to run one more play. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds remaining. Torch will come out to run one more. See if they can pick up this first down. Direct Three, snap. Four. And picking it up once again is Lentz, and he does get across midfield, but it's short of the first down. And that's going to do it. That will do it. So, one to forget for Trenton, homecoming, and thankfully all the festivities, I believe, are, is happening next Friday, which will be good for the, the fans and the students and the community here at Trenton. But a one to forget, Joe, 40 to nothing, the final. That's your, yeah, and, you know, it is, like you said, one to forget. Just regroup, come back out against Ewing, and get ready for whatever game you're going to get in the playoffs. You know, because of one of those, uh, I forget what they call them, games. But just go and do it. Put this one behind you. Absolutely. 40 to nothing, the final. And thanks to the sponsors making this live stream possible. Team Toyota, New Jersey Education Association, All Cure, Spine and Sports, The Revere Restaurant, Hold'em and Fort Super, the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, Capital Health System, Monday of Trenton, Capital Area YMCA, 12th Man Touchdown Club, the Trentonian, and the Italian People's Bakery. Thanks to our crew. Of course, the immortal Alvin Francis. Great to see him. Jess Nazario as well. Andrew Coates and Brianne O'Neill. Thanks to them. And for Joe O'Gorman, this is Keith Noonan saying so long from Trenton. The final score, Eastern 40 and Trenton nothing right here on the WBCB Sports Network.